Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add icons on your homepage on Shopify through the collapsible content section as well as how to add emojis to add some more diversity and variety into your icons on your Shopify store. So that's going to be breaking down here in today's video, how to get those icons so you can add more dynamic content, more visually appealing content as well uh, on your Shopify homepage. Now, before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you go ahead and check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. Of course, so first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your Shopify dashboard. Next, you're going to come over here to online store. And now currently I am using the Dawn theme on Shopify, and this is the most up-to-date version with the online store 2.0 setup. So as long as you're using one of the newer themes within Shopify, whether it's Dawn or any of the other different free themes within Shopify, this should work just fine. Whether it's Refresh, Craft Sense, Ride, or many of the others, again, I am using Dawn, but this should work on a wide variety of other different Shopify themes as well in order so that you have the icon native to Shopify. Next, once you come over to this page here, we're going to click the green button for customize, and then this will bring up the theme editor for Shopify. This should take you right to your homepage, but if not, just make sure you select homepage. And next, I'm going to be showing you, of course, how to add these, uh, which is through the emojis. Now, of course, I will be also linking out in the description to Emojipedia. This is a great site where you can find different emojis and icons to add to your site, just if you want the more colorful ones or if you want some other icons or emojis beyond the default ones that Shopify has built into their themes and included in Shopify. This is a good way to get some, maybe some other alternative options uh, you can easily search through here and find a wide variety of other different icons and emojis that you may want to add to your site as well uh, and I'll be showing you how to add those as well in just a little bit here uh, now, in terms of the different icons within Shopify, uh, you may also be familiar with them on the product pages. I do have a separate tutorial as well if you do want to edit these icons on your product pages through the drop downs. Uh, I will link in that in a card here on this video if you're interested in editing them here on the product pages as well. But for editing them on the home page, of course, uh, as we scroll down here, uh, you're going to be utilizing the collapsible content. Of course, this is a great way if you want to display uh, in the FAQ section on your site with proper icons that you maybe have free shipping, 24-7 customer service, easy returns. It's just a great way to display additional information on your site. So in order to do this, all you have to do is come down here to add section. Alternatively, you could also click the blue plus button here for add section. So we're going to go ahead and click add section. And the section that you're looking for is the collapsible content. So you probably have to click show more and then that will bring up this list here and you should see collapsible content. You can also search through the sections uh, as well if you don't see it. So we're going to select collapsible content. And once you have selected collapsible content, the default icons will just be these little check boxes, but you can change those as well. So all you have to do is click here. So they are check marks by default for these icons. You have a wide variety of different icons that are built directly within Shopify uh, that you can add to your store, whether you want an apple, uh, a banana, a bottle, a box, like the list goes on and on in terms of what you want to feature. Uh, on your site, you have again the same icons that you can use on your product pages. You can use here on your home page through your different drop downs. So maybe you have uh, other things like the chat bubble is a great one for if you're displaying 24 seven customer service, easy returns with the little return arrow and for free shipping. Uh, I believe you could select the truck. So you have a truck. There you go. And that's how you add those icons here. Now you can also add uh, different information here for the heading. So this one is uh, free shipping or something like that. Uh, you can easily add whatever you want here, a variety of different icons. Maybe you have recycling, you, you do that. This is a great section for your FAQs and different popular things that people may wonder about your company or your site in general or your store. So 
Once you've added that there, then of course you can also add content to that dropdown as well. So here is where you add in that content in the different rows. Uh, you could also do a little bulleted list. So um, maybe we recycle uh, fabric, something like that, uh, and uh, 100, and yes, something like that. And then when you click here on the drop down, you will also have that information listed here. So it's pretty easy and intuitive uh, to add that information. Of course, you can also uh, insert dynamic sources if you uh, are familiar with meta objects or meta fields. Uh, again, I do have other tutorials in the channel as well going over both meta objects and meta fields uh, if you're interested in pulling in dynamic content for that. Not super necessary on the homepage. Uh, so most people just are typing in this one-off information here, although that is an alternative way that you can add information to this as well. If you want, uh, you can also add information from a specific page if you want to add that there too. Uh, but that's how you add the icons that are built into Shopify. You also have carrot, things like that, uh, little drop downs uh, in general. So it is a great way to add additional information on your site. So you can also change the heading size as well for the top there. Uh, you can change the layout if you want it to show like a row container, a section container. Uh, you can sort of change the overall layout. Uh, if you want to change the color scheme, that's also in the accent colors, which are controlled here in your theme settings. If you go to theme settings, colors, that's where you can change accent one, accent two. Although do bear in mind that that will change on other parts of your site as well. Wherever you are utilizing Accent 1 or Accent 2, it will also change on other parts of your site beyond just this collapsible content here. Uh, but if we go back into the collapsible content, we're just gonna change that back to background two. Uh, as you can see here, you can also set it to open the first collapsible row as well. It's another option you have. Uh, you can also add an image to it as well if you want, but that's how you add the icons on your homepage, at least within the collapsible content section. Now, if you're interested in adding in icons through emojis, that's what we're gonna get into here. So in order to do this, all you need to do is add in a rich text box. So as you can see here, I already have a rich text box here. Uh, with all the information here with the different emojis. Now, you can really style this however you want. It is pretty flexible. You could also feel free to copy and paste this any other location on your site where there is text. So you could even add it in a lot of other areas if you want to feature emojis and just adding in additional icons anywhere else on your site. Maybe you want like a star or something. Uh, you know, you can add in a star. So we're gonna search for that here on Emojipedia. You could add like glowing star. Uh, which I think is a cool little emoji. So you could add something like that. And all you have to do is come down, click copy, uh, and that will copy it to your clipboard. Uh, and then you come back here to edit it. And as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and paste that in here. So you could add that there too, like a little star uh, or something like that if you just want more emojis or more icons on your site. So you can really get creative with this and get flexible. Uh, with it as well. So to add your rich text box, all you have to do is click add section, just like how we added the other section before. Uh, all you have to do is scroll down here, click add section and search for rich text. Now, again, like I said, this will work on any other uh, part of your site where there is text. So you can pretty much paste this wherever you want. Now to edit the rich text box to look how, like how I have it up here with just the uh, icons and the text in order to get rid of the button all you have to do is go into the rich text box click on underneath this drop down here so out you have to go back out of the rich text box go down to buttons and you can just leave the label blank to hide the button so there you go if you want a button you can keep the button and you know add links or other information there if you want uh, and then you have the information here which is where you can then paste in your emojis. So you can paste them in here. Now to make them bigger, what I do is you can highlight them and change them to a heading tag. That will make it a lot bigger and easier to see. So of course we can delete all that text there. And there you go. So you can sort of get creative there. Maybe you wanna say uh, we have five star ratings or something, <laughs> you know, something like that if you want to, uh, you know, do something like that. You could put something like that as well. Uh, 
in the heading, uh, you know, five star reviews or something, something creative like that. Uh, you know, you can get flexible with however you want it. But that's another way that you can add icons and emojis uh, on your homepage just to give some more visual elements to your site beyond just your products uh, and just adding more visual cues uh, for other aspects within your homepage. Again, you can get creative. I will leave a link to Emojipedia as well. You can add any emojis that you want to your Shopify store as well. Uh, but that's pretty much how you do it. Through the rich text box, uh, you can edit the, again, you can edit the H, the heading tags, the H1, H2, H3, if you want it bigger or smaller. Uh, you know, you can change exactly how big or small you want it. I like H1 or H2 is a pretty good size. Uh, not too big, not too small. Uh, and then if you wanna add other text in here, uh, you can also add text in here. Uh, if you want to add additional information there and you can change it to a different size as well So if you want to have uh, Paragraph text and then you can have heading text up here. So you can easily uh, Manipulate the sizing just based on the heading tags uh, that you have within the text box uh, So that's how you can edit that there as well if you want to add additional text or information uh, Beyond just the emojis again, you could even add other emojis here and really get creative with however you want this to look. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, you can also edit and add it to the heading here, really anywhere that you have text on your site. Uh, again, you could even go extra large if you want it to be really, really big uh, on your homepage on your site. So we're gonna go ahead and click save and we're gonna refresh the homepage and see what that looks like here. So as you can see, you have a variety of different sizes that you can sort of play around with and get within your site. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to add in different icons and emojis on your homepage uh, on your Shopify store. Again, you have the option of the FAQ section with the collapsible content, or you could even just paste in your emojis uh, wherever you see fit within your site, depending on what kind of icons you wanna use or what kind of emojis you wanna use, whether you want them to be sort of more uh, aesthetic and more uh, fitting to the Shopify aesthetic, or if you just want to get creative and start putting them wherever you want. That's how you do it on your Shopify store. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the description. It's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify that will take you right over this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, if you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to add icons and emojis on your homepage on Shopify, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.